Hey guys, how are you today? All right, we are going to make. Uh, I'm gonna. We're going to do a little watercoloring in our My Year 2017 journal, or at least you could. I'm going to actually do it on a piece of watercolor paper. This is a piece of um, Artistico Fabriano Artistico paper. It is soft press, 140 pounds. Soft press is something between hot press and cold press. So it doesn't have as much texture as cold press, but it's also not completely smooth. This was gotten as a sample at a um, little seminar I did at a local arts and crafts store. So I'm gonna whack off a hunk of paper from this sample about two inches wide. You can make your bookmark any size and or you could do this in your directly in your journal if you want to. Now this piece of paper is, because I know somebody is going to ask, um, just a little bit less than six inches long, about an eighth of an inch less than that. I'm going to put this back away with my other pieces of paper. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> there, are, there are samples. Okay. So we're going to just do a little quick, easy, don't freak out, it's going to be an easy watercolor tutorial because, you know, really, you guys should know me better than that. <laughs> All right, so um, this is my Daniel Smith Muted Palette. Use what you have. You don't have to use watercolor paints. You could use any water-soluble materials that you may have in your art room. Maybe you have uh, Neo Colors. Maybe you have Crayola watercolor uh, pencils. Whatever you have, use what you have. All right, and do some playing. We're gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, there we go. So first I'm gonna do some, um, some pen work and I'm trying to decide what I want to draw. Uh, let's see, I kind of wanna just do flowers cause you know, and they're kind of organic and they're easy. So let's do that. Let's do kind of a flowery shape. I'm not going to sketch the whole thing out uh, because I want the watercolor to be to do some speaking on that page but I want the pen to help define what's going on. I think that's good, I actually like that. Uh, we're gonna need a watercolor brush. I'm going to use this um, pr uh, Princeton Select Filbert number eight brush. It looks like that, a filbert is like a flat with a rounded end. Use what you have though. Okay, I'm gonna start, grab my rag, I'm gonna start by that pen that I used is a Pilot Varsity disposable fountain pen, and as you can see, it is water soluble, which I love. Oh, nice text message, do you hear that? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to activate some of the pen. I'm gonna put the water where I want the ink to go. The ink is only gonna go where you put the water so that's one way to control what's going on in your picture. And then we're going to take our um, muted palette, which I love and find challenging to work with in a good way. And there's this naphthol maroon color that I really, really love. So I'm gonna see, now this is wet, so I'm putting it in the water where the pen was. I'm going to rinse my brush off. And push the pigment around. And then I'm going to zoom in some more. Let's see, so you can really see. There we go. And then I'm going to take a little bit of the red that's in here, anthoquidone red, I think is which one it is. And I'm probably pronouncing both of those incorrectly. That wouldn't surprise me. I'm just barely touching the brush to the paper. Barely, barely. And 
I may go lift some of that off. So I'm taking a damp but dry brush and going over the pigment and just lifting some of it off. Okay, I'm going to take the Quidocridone Gold. There's my phone again. Then I'm going to take some of my greens. I have this one called Undersea Green. It's a beautiful, beautiful muted green color. Just gorgeous. And again, just put a little bit of pigment and then rinse my brush off. I'm blotting it on the um, rag I have under my arm, which you can't see because it's off camera. Because <clears throat> I want you to really just see what I'm doing as far as the painting is concerned. Oops. Yeah. All right, and let's see. Okay, and then I'm going to take a little bit of our turquoise because, you know, I rarely paint anything without putting turquoise in there. I just don't. This is ultramarine turquoise. And I think what I want to do is get it wet and puddly and then do this. Well, it would be nice if I got it on that. There we go. On the book going everywhere except the bookmark. Isn't that always the way? So there you have it. Quick, easy. It took like five minutes. I'll zoom out a little bit for you. There we go. So quick and easy. Took about five minutes. It's not complicated. Maybe you just want to do it, doodle it, and you want to do as like a zentangly thing, and you want to draw and not paint. Whatever you feel like doing, as I've said in the beginning, and I will keep saying until you guys are sick of hearing it, there's no right way, there's no wrong way, there's only your way. So think about doing a little piece of artwork. Um, create, if you're following the book club, may, maybe make yourself a bookmark that you can use in your books that you're reading. If you're not doing the book club, um, then just make a little piece of artwork in your journal or one that you can put in your journal. Um, make sure you've sized the paper, if you're going to put it in later, either tip it in or paste it in, that you've sized the paper to be something that will fit in your journal before you get started uh, and so that you don't have to cut down your artwork. That's it for today, everybody. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, please. I would love that if you did. And to support my store, uh, um, my channel, by shopping in my Etsy store if you can. Uh, the link is in the description below. Also, if you don't want to do that, you can go to the YouTube channel's main page and hit that fan funding button. But the most important thing, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.